Today, I'm with my friend Dev, right here. And the plan is to hike up to go and find England's only remaining population of mountain hare. As you can probably tell, it's pretty foggy. So who knows if we're gonna find them today. Stay tuned to find out. made it to the first location, otherwise known as base camp, for the next 10-15 minutes. You'll probably have seen some of the photos on the way, but we saw plenty of red grouse that looked quite nice in the fog. Hopefully the photos turn out pretty nice. Uh, we saw a very distant short-eared owl. I'll stick that up now because it wasn't a great photo, but lovely to see. And then just as we were putting our bags down, a woodcock flew out and flew away from us, so that was also very nice to see. But the plan for the next 10 minutes, eat a banana, have some coffee, and then go and find some mountain hares. hours down and it's time for a coffee. We've caught glimpses of two separate hares but the fog as you can probably see is making it incredibly hard to be out trying to find them but we're plowing on with the hope that once we do find a hare and yes I'm saying once we do not if we do it should make for some beautiful conditions to maybe get some silhouette shots or even just some dramatic moody shots. So we're taking a bit of a break, we're taking stock, and then we're gonna go out there and find them. As you can see, I'm no longer out looking for mountain hares. I am in fact in my Airbnb in Norfolk preparing for two weeks of grey seal workshops. Shortly after my last piece to camera, the weather took a turn for the worse, as you'll now be seeing with the overlaid video. We decided to head back as we just didn't fancy another couple of hours in cold rain and sleet. So no mountain hare photos to speak of, which is a shame because I really liked some of the red grouse photos that I got in the fog. So a mountain hare photo in that style would have been amazing, but that's nature for you. We undoubtedly walked past tons of hares during our hike, but the thick fog just rendered it impossible to spot anything. I've been up there countless times, and the one time that I didn't get any photos I of course decided to vlog it. I just hope that you'll appreciate me showing you the process 
warts and all, and that you understand that not all wildlife photography trips or excursions will go to plan. But I'll be back up there in December, so fingers crossed I'll be getting another mountain hare vlog over to you pretty soon. Anyway, to end this video, I'll stick on a few photos from some successful mountain hare excursions over the last few years and say thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers!